The Indian Air Force is going to support the development of the upgraded and more powerful Kaveri engine to be used in the Tejas Mark 1A light combat aircraft. The upgraded Kaveri initiative would aim at replacing the imported GEF-404 engines which power the Tejas MK-1As with an indigenous capability matching the overall objective of India achieving seventh reliance in aerospace tech and manufacturing capabilities. The Indian Air Force intends to operate in excess of 220 Tejas Mark 1A fighter aircraft or around 10 squadrons in their projected 40-year lifespan. The planes are powered by GE F404 Iron 20 engines with 54 kN dry thrust and 84 kN wet thrust or wind afterburners. Now, while the use of foreign engines is viable, drawbacks also include high costs at 8 to 10 million dollars per engine, as well as geopolitical issues with supply chain issues whenever any crisis arises. The Defense Research and Development Organization or the DRDO is being guided by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment or the GTRE to create a derivative of the Kaveri engine or KDE with an afterburner module. The new engine is expected to provide around 75 kN of wet thrust, which is the same as the French M88-2 engines that power the Rafale fighter jets. Now, the GTRE aims to establish the technology maturity of the KDE in 2025 to lay the groundwork for its induction on the Tejas Mark 1As by 2035 in time for the overall of these jets. The Kaveri engine has witnessed a long and sometimes irritating development history since the late 1980s. Developed initially for the light combat aircraft or Tejas, the project witnessed multiple technical issues which resulted in the decertification of the original Kaveri engine from being used on the indigenous Tejas jet program. The DRDO, however, redirected its focus and is using the dry variant to be used in unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs like the Ghatak Stealth UCAV program. Recent progress has seen the Kaveri engine receive clearance for flight testing as well, a step towards its potential as India's indigenous answer to fighter jet propulsion. Rigorous ground testing has seen the engine capable of producing dry thrust of around 49 to 51 kilonewton and an afterburner to be installed in a bid to boost its output to between 73 and 75 kilonewtons. Now, this thrust capability is vitally essential to the performance requirements of India's current fighter aircraft like the Tejas Mark 1As. Now, while comparing the indigenous Kaveri engine with foreign competitors like the GE F404 engine or the French M88 engine, much is at stake. The dry thrust of the Kaveri engine currently is in the range of 49 to 52 kilonewton and its wet thrust, eventually, the expectations are, will be between 75 and 83 kilonewtons. Now, while the American G F404 engine produces 54 kilonewton dry thrust, which is just marginally higher than the Kaveri, it also has a wet thrust of 84 to 85 kilonewton with afterburners, which is higher than the Kaveri. However, still, the upgraded Kaveri would be a viable alternative for single-engine fighter planes like the Tejas Mark 1As. The N88-2 engine tailored to the Rafale fighter jet produces 50 kN dry thrust and 75 kN wet thrust similar to the upgraded Kaveri. Although the F404 Iron 20 has more wet thrust than the Kaveri, the Kaveri engine tries to balance this with its best thrust to weight ratio and minimizing its weight at around 1200 kilograms. The intention is to improve the efficiency and performance of the Kaveri under tough conditions common to India's weather. The Kaveri engine program could be a strategic leap for the war fighting capability of India. With an indigenous development of an engine turning out to be successful eventually, India can reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, enhance operational flexibility and reduce long-term costs significantly. The upgraded Kaveri engine is being designed to provide sustained performance in India's challenging operating environment, unlike certain foreign players 
which tend to degrade under warmer climatic conditions in India. However, there are some issues to be addressed. The Kaveri engine must become reliable through rigorous flight testing on large scale and demonstrate endurance and efficiency to be made compliant with the Indian Air Force's lofty standards. Meanwhile, the DRDO and GTRE are ready to further develop the engine, having already conceptualized a newer one known as Kaveri 2.0, whose aim is to generate even higher thrust rates ranging from 90 to 100 kN for newer platforms like the multi role Tejas Mark II jets. Apart from the original Kaveri engine project, the GTRE is also collaborating with Godrej Aerospace on this high thrust engine for India's next generation of fighter aircraft. Now, this too is part of India's larger drive towards defense technology self reliance. Godrej Aerospace Vice President Manik Behram Kamdeen believes his company is capable of finding a solution for this technical issue, having gained experience through work on the Kaveri project as well as other armed forces related ventures. Godrej Aerospace has also announced that it will invest around 500 crore rupees in a 3.5 year project in a new mega facility near Mumbai, marking the direction towards creating India's own aerospace capabilities. The alliance is at the core of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or the AMCA project to build an indigenously powered fifth generation fighter aircraft by 2030. As more dangers from neighboring nations like China and Pakistan pose challenges, local superior jet engines become crucial in strengthening India's air combat capabilities. Such an improvement has become essential due to the rapid development of Chinese stealth jets as well as Pakistan's interests in acquiring J-35 fifth-generation fighter planes from China. With the Kaveri 2.0 engine and variants in development, India is boldly taking a step towards aerospace technology autonomy. One just hopes the Kaveri 2.0 does not face the endless delays like the original project. Smooth integration of indigenous engines into advanced platforms like Tejas Mark 1As and AMCA will be the cornerstone for the nation's future defense strategy. Meanwhile, the Tejas Mark 1A is nearing a turning point as it finally goes through final testing from weapons firing tests to electronic warfare trials, with GE also having shipped the first batch of F-404 engines by mid-2025. The Indian Air Force will induct its first fully combat-ready Tejas NK-1A fighter jet, leading India into a brand new era in defense self-sufficiency. But have your say, how important is it for India to manufacture its own fighter jet engines? The Indian Defence Ministry has aimed 2,500 crore rupee worth of contracts to boost military capabilities in the spirit of Atman Bharat. A 1,800 crore rupee contract with AVNL acquires NAMIS TR system or NAG, a state-of-the-art DRDO-designed anti-tank weapon with fire and forget missiles for precision attacks on armoured targets. Besides this, 699 crore rupees has been sanctioned for 500 light vehicles of Mahindra and Mahindra and force motors to improve mobility and operating efficiency of the troops. Both agreements under the Buy Indian segment further Bharat's pursuit of defense manufacturing self-reliance. India's Defence Acquisition Council has sanctioned the Indian Air Force's purchase of six additional DRDO Netra Mark 1A Airborne Early Warning and Control or AEWNC aircraft. These planes using Embraer's ERJ-145 will be equipped with advanced ASA radar, a state-of-the-art electronic warfare suit and real-time information sharing capabilities. The Indian Air Force presently operates three of these from 2017 would now like to upgrade its airborne reconnaissance in the context of regional tensions. DRDO is also currently working on a larger Netra MK2 on an Airbus A321 platform. Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.